Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'm gonna show you how you can edit perfect skin tones in Final Cut Pro 10. And I made this exact same video about a year ago, uh, but at that time I was using Adobe Premiere. And so the idea is still the same, but for anybody that didn't see this one and you're a Final Cut Pro uh, 10 user, then this is just the video for you. Um, it's gonna be very simple, very easy. It's only a few steps and this will work for you every single time. So with all of that being said, let's hop into Final Cut Pro and I'll show you how. All right, everyone, we are in Final Cut Pro right here. Uh, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of my browser so I can have a bigger screen to look at. And then I wanna pull up uh, some of my color grading tools. So I'm gonna hit Command 7 on the keyboard and you're gonna see this little panel pop up on the left. Um, what I've got here are two different tools to use. The one on the left is called a vector scope. The one on the right is called a waveform. If you don't see either one of these, uh, you can have, you'll can you have a diff few different options. So go ahead and hit view. You have all these different ways to different uh, options for you to choose what you wanna look at. And I like to go uh, side by side, two of them right here. And then you can choose exactly which tools you want. Like I said, I've got a waveform, I've got it set to the Luma, and then IRE is the units. And for the vector scope, I've just got it set uh, for, for the basic basic settings here. So once you've done that, here's what we're gonna do. As you can see, uh, just on the vector scope and the waveform, we have a ton of yellows and oranges and really, really warm colors. And that makes sense. You know, my sweatshirt is yellow, the little lightning bolt is yellow, and the lamp here in the corner is putting a lot of just really warm orange colors in there and kind of, what that does though, it's really affecting the color of the skin tones. So what we wanna do is first and foremost, is we wanna mask out everything else and only focus in on the skin. So I'm gonna click, or I'm gonna uh, type up draw mask, I'm gonna just click and drag that. And now I have the ability to just select a few points and we're just gonna go around my face just like that. Now when it comes to editing skin tones, it doesn't matter what color of skin you're working with, uh, every skin tone falls on what's called the skin tone line here, which is what you can see on the vector scope. Um, and it should always be defaulted to being able to have uh, this skin tone line. But uh, what this does is this measures the proper coloring for your skin. And what you want is you want all of this information right here to be perfectly in line with this line. And as you can see, what I've got going on is a lot of that information is pushing more towards the reds. And so what we wanna do is bring that down and push it more towards the yellows and the oranges over here. So to do that, it's really simple. I'm just gonna go over into my color uh, effects right here, and I'm gonna choose the hue and saturation curves. I'm gonna drag or click this little eyedropper, click it on my skin, and it set my three points right here. So I'm gonna go with the middle one right here, and I'm gonna click and drag it, and I'm also gonna be watching the vector scope over here and just adjusting until we are lined up. All right, that is looking a lot better. And then you can also see we still have uh, just a little bit kind of hanging off to the right, to the left, and sometimes that is just a result of some of the coloring, you know, underneath your neck or in some of the different areas of your face. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna make one more point right here, and I'm gonna drag it up, down, just right about there, looks right. We're gonna go back, take off the mask, and let me just show you what we've done. That was before, this is after, and this is actually looking a heck of a lot better, much more natural, and you can see the before here, it just looks really, really red. Now that looks a lot better. Now from here, it's really up to you, it's up to personal preference how you wanna grade the rest of it. I'll just throw a quick one on, get rid of this mask. All right, what I usually like to do, I like to get into the curves, bring my shadows down just a little bit, lift the blacks, bring my midtones back up, go into the color wheels. Let's see, I think my midtones need to come up a lot and we can see that on the vector scope over there. Okay, that's looking better. Bring the shadows back down till they're just about crushed. I can bring those highlights up as well. 
I'm gonna bring some more saturation in. Right about there. Maybe we'd bring the mid tones down a little bit more. Overall, I would say this clip is really, really warm, which is totally fine. But what I'm gonna do is take the master wheel. I'm gonna pull it down towards the teals just a little bit. And then I'm gonna get back into the hue saturations and take out some of the saturation that's actually in the skin tone or in the shadows, I should say. That looks pretty good. And you can kind of see a full before and after. That was before, that was after. You know, I could do a lot more to that if I wanted to. I could add, you know, a LUT on to get a creative look, which, heck, why not? Let's just see. I'll throw a custom LUT that I've made. Okay, a little strong. Bring it right around there. And full before, after. In my opinion, those colors are gonna look a lot better. And just to make sure we did it all right, Let's get that mask back and see we lined up pretty dang good. If anything, there's a little bit more of the red and I think that's just coming from my lips right now, which if I was to really take this you know, clip seriously, which heck, why not? We're already here, right? Let me just take out some of the, the red. Saturation just a bit. There we go. Now, full before and after, and that is how you edit skin tones. All right, I hope that made sense. Uh, if you have any questions, anything that uh, maybe I sped through quickly in the tutorial, then just leave me a comment down below. Uh, feel free to ask me any questions, and as always, you can always follow me on Instagram, and if you prefer to DM me and ask a question over there, that's totally fine as well. But anyways, thank you all for watching today's video, and I'll see you in the next one.